Hey, my name is Steve and welcome back to Command Shift New and our Logic Pro quick tips in three minutes or less. Today, we're looking at all the ways you can solo and mute in Logic Pro from individual regions to groups of tracks. It seems straightforward enough. You look at Logic Pro and you see solo and mute buttons on the tracks, but there are so many ways that you can actually solo and mute in Logic that can offer a lot more flexibility. You can solo a track to hear just that track or mute the track to take that out of the mix easily from the mixer or the track workspace. You could even use the keyboard shortcuts S or M respectively on any highlighted track. However, you can turn on and off these buttons on a group of tracks by clicking and dragging across the other tracks. Start at one track and then click and drag down or across to turn on more tracks. If you have soloed a group of specific tracks or picked out specific tracks to solo, you can turn them all off easily with the solo, clear and recall button at the top of the track workspace. This will toggle the group on and off with the solo and even update if you change the tracks within it. It doesn't just have to be the whole track though. You can solo or mute a single region. With a region or group of regions selected, you can mute it by right clicking and selecting playback and then mute on, or by using the keyboard shortcut Control M. If you turn on the solo button though at the top right of the toolbar or with the keyboard shortcut Control S, you will be able to solo individual regions by clicking on one or dragging over a group. This allows you to quickly mute or solo specific regions on the fly. If you've enjoyed this quick tip and would like to hear more, why not like the video and subscribe for the next one? You never know what new trick you might pick up. Happy music making and I will see you in the next one.